Hey drummers, I uh, just want to give you an update of some of the stuff that we've been doing with the drum kit, the TD20 in the sanctuary, so that you know uh, what's going on and are better able to use it when you serve for uh, playing when, in our services. Uh, you know, as you know, we've had a, a rip in the skin for the kick pedal, so we've gone and replaced that skin. We've also switched that kick pedal hammer around to use the other side of it. Apparently the felt side actually wears through the skin faster than the hard plastic side. So we switched that around um, so that hopefully the skin will last a little bit longer, but that's one of those things that just happens with wear and tear. Now we have got our, both of our, our crash cymbals back as of today, and so we spent uh, over $400 getting those repaired. So hopefully they'll last us for a long time now and we take good care of them. They'll work properly as they should with uh, triggering properly, with the choke feature again, and uh, functioning as they did when they were new. Just a quick word about that. If you're adjusting where the symbol is on the kit um, so that it can be in the spot you want it, that's great. Just make sure that you're always hitting opposite where the Roland uh, a logo is. So you're striking the symbol on the opposite side. That's also where the trigger is. It's on this side. And if you need to uh, move the symbol around, make sure you also adjust this uh, holder that's underneath with the drum key. You can see that it's beveled. It's so that the symbol can rock properly on there, and that'll match the bottom side of the symbol, so that when you strike the symbol, it can go either up or down like this as you hit it. So just make sure you do that anytime you adjust the symbols and use the drum key so that we're not stripping any uh, pieces of hardware on the drum kit. The other thing I want to mention is the, that the one problem with electronic drums is that if you hit them too hard, you're hitting electronics, and eventually those pieces are going to go, which is probably why we had to get the repairs done on the cymbals. Of course, there's wear and tear as well, but the one thing we do need to try and do is to, is to not hit the drum kit as hard as you would as, as on an acoustic kit. So to help with that, we've picked up a bunch of uh, lightweight pairs of sticks. There's several pairs here for you to, to try out and to use. Here's one of them. They all look kind of similar, but they're slightly different from each other. So please try out these uh, lightweight sticks, and it might take a little bit of time to adjust to, but this is going to really help out with um, you not hammering down on, the, on those um, delicate pieces of electronics that are buried within each drum piece. And to compensate, of course, for that is we always turn the level of the drums up, either in your monitor or, or in the house or both, so that we still get a great sound, and we're not asking you to have less sound in the mix. So those sticks are the, hanging on a sick bag on the side of the kit. So you can feel free to use those. Uh, we also picked up a nice brand new throne for you guys because you spent a lot of time sitting there and so we want you to be comfortable. So hopefully this throne will, will help you with that. And of course, we've attached the butt kicker onto the bottom of that so you can kick some butt every time you're playing. All right? Thanks a lot, guys, and uh, happy drumming.